Look at this. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow. What? Hey friends, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video, I'm bringing you my Sydney Grace Christmas in July haul. And on that haul, I got many goodies, including the year two new eyeshadow palettes. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you will consider and subscribe to my channel, ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads, and come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to see everything that I got from Sydney Grace Christmas in July, swatches of the palettes, and this look, then just keep on watching. Sydney Grace Christmas in July sale ended last week and they launched so many beautiful goodies. I was really hoping to get that enduring love palette in the light version, but they sold out. <laughs> I think, I don't know if they had it before the sale or not, I, I'm not sure, but I had a plan of action, you know, because each day they had a different type of deal. I'm like, okay, this day I will get this one and then I will get this discount here or, you know, get some other products right here and so forth. So my plan went overall like, you know, <laughs> it went well except for that Enduring Love Palette that I had been wanting so badly. It's like it has been sold out for so long. I think it came back in stock. I don't know. I mean, I hope. <laughs> I hope soon I will get it. But anyhow, I went ahead and picked up their two new palettes, Chase Your Dreams and Summer Days. So I'm gonna be swatching them today for you and we're gonna go over details and creating a look with them. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. And then last year during um, their Christmas in July sale, I also got a few single eyeshadows. And on this year, I went ahead and complete is the palette with all Sydney Grace products. Yay! I'm super excited to show you this right here. Look at these beauties. Well, can you tell my love for mauve pinks? A little bit of peach right there. Mm -hmm, yeah, I think, yeah, I remember. I showcased this eyeshadow right here when I was doing the review of the Pat McGrath Divine Rose number two. And we were looking for, you know, a dupe for the VR's extraterrestrial, eye, the multi-chrome eyeshadow. And I showed against this shade right here. Sydney Grace did do an amazing job with their multi-chromes and overall with all their eyeshadows. So this time around, I went ahead and got the Raspberry Kiss bundle that it comes with nine different shades. So the Raspberry Kiss bundle is this right here, all these nine shades. Oh my goodness. And then I got a few new shades. So all of these, let's see, let me tell you which ones I got this time around. I got this one right here, this, this, this. Yeah, those are the ones that I got this year. And then last year, I got all of these right here. These multi-chromes right here, this purpley tone right here, this shade right here too. So, whew, I'm, I'm completing my first lip palette with Sydney Grace and I'm super excited for these. I love to play with makeup. It's so much fun. And I just think that Sydney Grace, they really do an amazing job. Anyhow, friends, let's open these babies up. So here's Summer Days. Now, these nine pound palettes, they cost $33. They come super well wrapped and they have actually a mirror inside, which I greatly appreciate. They are made here in United States. Actually, the owners, they are sisters, and I just found out that one of the, well, they are sisters, I shouldn't say one of the others. The sisters, they grew up at a very near city where I live at, at the moment. Anyhow, friends, here you go. This is the Summer Days palette. It is very pretty. I love the different shades. You have a few brown tones right here, some coppery tones, a gold one right here, and also a little bit of like, more of like a mauve tone, you know? I think this is beautiful. We will swatch it in a second. Okay, and then let me show you. Chase your dreams. Like I said, right now they are sold out. You know, they, they are an indie brand, so I'm sure they are gonna restock. It's just gonna take a little bit of time, but 
I'm so happy that I was able to support them. And then here it is. This is such a fun palette. I mean, although it's colorful, it's done in a way that it's colorful, but I feel like it's not so intimidating as other type of palettes that they have perhaps too much of like a bright shade. I actually like it a lot. Okay, so let's go into swatches right here. Let's just start with summer days. And the eyeshadows, they feel so smooth. Basque, Sandcastle, Break of Day. Oh, I love this shade right here. It's called Day Star. Is that dusty mauve pink? Beach Days. Cherry Picking. Oh my gosh, their metallics are incredible. Look at this. <laughs> are you kidding me? Wow. What? Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's go here. This is Blood Orange, S'mores, and Camping. Oh my goodness, you saw that Camping one? <laughs> oh, that's no joke at all. What? What? <laughs> This is too good for words. Okay, let's move on right here with Chase Your Dreams, The Dream, Aspire, Be Bold, The Chase, You Can, Don't Quit, The Drive, Your Best, Enjoy the Journey. They're so beautiful. There you go. Oh my, 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 my. Wow. Simply wow right here. And I don't know. I mean, I think perhaps I'm going to do a look with this palette right here. And then I will leave perhaps. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. And then I will leave this one right here perhaps for an IG. What do you think? That could be it. Or maybe I will end up mixing both of them. Um, I... I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. Okay, friends, let me get you closer. BK Beauty 201 Sandcastle. And I'm just applying it above the crease. Sonia G Classic Crease and Break of the Day. And I'm going to apply it right on the crease. And I'm taking the same shade and I'm going to apply it on my outer V. Definitely these eyeshadows, they do have such an amazing pigmentation and they are so easy to blend. Sigma E27 brush and the shade Beach Days. And I'm applying it on my outer V. Sonia G Builder Pro and the shade S'mores. I'm gonna apply it dry first. I'm applying it wet now. Going back to beach days, and I'm just gonna blend in that metallic shade. With an Eco Tools double ended brush, I'm gonna go with the shade Sam Castle, and I'm applying it on my lower lash line. And I'm gonna go to break of day. Synergy Flat Definer and Beach Days. And I'm using these to just smoke out and connect it with my upper lash line. Sigma E30 brush and the shade Basque. I'm just going to apply it on my inner corner and then on my brow bone. Wow, friends, are you kidding me? This eyeshadow palette is amazing. I mean, the quality of Sydney Grace is amazing. But oh my goodness, this is incredible. Okay, here's my feedback right here. With the matte shades, they have a lot of pigment in it, okay? And therefore, just if you want to start, they blend like a dream. They are easy to blend, but just tapping lightly. Otherwise, you may have a lot of color 
pay off right away so if you are going for you know like trying to do perhaps like a soft glam type of look and you know like diffuse it a little more and just you know like actually have control of the actual shade again just go lightly and tap off the excess it does have a very small amount of kickback but as you can tell, my palette is not messed up. You know, sometimes with certain palettes, you find out like the powder all over with this one, no. And then the pigmentation of the metallic shades is just out of this world. You don't need to apply them wet. You can apply them dry. You can use your finger for more, more payoff. Same thing, if you end up applying it wet, you will get more payoff. But wow, this is beautiful. And I love this color story because you have, you know, your kind of neutral browns, but even these shades right here, they have just a hint of this kind of like mauve tone in it. I mean, they are neutral, but you have versatility right here. And this is such a beautiful palette. I cannot wait to try this one right here. I'm actually going to film another video. So because of that, I decided, you know, I need a night nice look that is more neutral tone and not so much of like boom colorful shades but next i'm gonna try these right here so be on the lookout because i will be posting a look most likely on my instagram i'm so excited because this color story is beautiful you you know that i love purples i love reddish tones i love these warm bronzy tones right here coppery tones and this looks amazing. And I'm so, so happy to finally have a complete Z palette. This palette right here is not from Sydney Grace. They have their own palettes, but I have completed a full on Z palette from Sydney Grace. So I'm so happy and I cannot wait to, you know, just dig in, have fun. There has been so much makeup, you know, coming out here and there. And, you know, having my own Z palette with the shades that I'm really intrigued to try, it just gives me so much joy. So, yeah, I mean, I will say 100% when they come back to stock, I will highly suggest for you to try them. They have nothing. I'm like, I, I'm sure you have heard of these. They have nothing, nothing to envy to Natasha Denona quality. That's how good is the quality of these eyeshadows. You know, they are in between a Natasha Denona and the Scott Barnes eyeshadows. That good of a pigment, that good of a payoff, blendability, easy of use. I mean, so much beauty right here. And I still need to try more from Sydney Grace. I, in fact, there were some makeup bags that they had some products, they had a blush in it and even I think a loose highlighter. And again, my plan <laughs> my plan was this, to get the Enduring Love Palette and get one of those makeup bags. I think it was the peach color, warm peach, the one that I wanted in the light version. <sighs> but everything was kind of like messed up. So I said, okay, well, I will pass on that. And I actually have one of their makeup bags from last year. It's kind of like a whitish ivory color with like a gold engraving of you know, their name, Sydney Grace, very pretty. So anyhow, I'm so happy to support this indie brand. I would love to see more from them. And like I said, I'm with my eyes peeled to see when that Enduring Love Palette comes back again in stock. And last thing that I want to add on here that I think is extremely important because this is something that I haven't seen other brands doing this. And for being an indie brand to kind of like take the step onto, you know, like recognizing the need of, catering to everybody and different skin tones this palette the summer days comes in two tones kind of like the enduring palette so you have your light version and also your deep version and the the variation is minimal but it's enough to actually show on the eyelids depending on your skin tone and i really applaud that from like i said any brand but mostly from an indie brand i think it sets such a great example and i just think that is fantastic so anyhow my friends i hope that you really enjoyed this video that you found it helpful and informative and now i would love to know from you do you have any of Sydney Grace eyeshadows? Perhaps you have the Enduring Love Palette. How you like it? Do you have the light? Do you have the deep tone? Do you have single eyeshadows from Sydney Grace? 
What are the shapes that you love the most? Let's enrich our conversation on the comment section down below. And while you're at it, and if you haven't done so yet, I think you are waiting too long. <laughs> And you just need to look under this screen, in red it says subscribe, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Here I have great content from reviews of new makeup and I also do a series where we create our own eyeshadow palette from existing shades of X brands. And I will make sure I leave you the playlist somewhere here. The, my latest one was creating a mini bronze palette from Natasha Denona. That was a lot of fun. And all the rest of my makeup will be on the description down below. Also, if you have a little bit of a time, come and follow me on my Instagram. Like I said, I like to post close-up of my new makeup as well. I keep you informed when something comes in a stock, back in a stock, when something is new. I just keep you posted on everything. And like I said, I will be playing with this friend right here on my Instagram. So if you want to see how this performs, please come follow me there. And if you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also share with family and friends. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.